Welcome to Algebra 1 Half Lesson 26. We are talking about mean, median, and mode today. And we're especially talking about mean and what that is in word problems. So let's jump in. If I have this group of numbers, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 784. That's quite a group of numbers. Very random, but in those numbers, I have certain terms to help me describe them. The first term is mode. The mode would be the number that is repeated the most often. Not every group of numbers has a mode because some groups of numbers, let's say it's two, three, four, five. They are all there, two, three, four, five, only one time. So it doesn't really have a mode. But if it's a group of numbers like this where you have numbers that are repeated multiple times, then you're going to have a mode. So what would the mode of this group of numbers be? It's two, because there are five twos, so there's more twos repeated than any other number. There's two eights, but that's not the same as five. Five is greater, so two is our mode. Our median is the number that's in the exact middle of these numbers. So I have 11 numbers, so the number in the middle would be the number that's the sixth number, which is seven. I have one, two, three, four, five on this side, one, two, three, four, five on this side. So my seven is in the exact middle, is my median, okay? So my mode is two, my median is seven. How about mean, mean? Well, mean is just a short word for average. So to find the mean, I add up all of my numbers. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus seven plus eight plus eight plus nine plus 10 plus 784. And I divide it by the number of numbers in my group, which is 11. So when I add those all up, divided by 11, I get 76. So my mean is 76. So mode, the number that's repeated the most, median, the number in the exact middle, and mean, the average. So let's look at using mean or average in word problems. Excuse me, my phone is giving me a message. Nope, sorry. Okay, let's keep going. So look at example 26.1 on page 76, so you can follow along with me. It says, when the boys measured the distance three times, they got three different answers. If the measurements were 4.017 meters, 4.212 meters, and 3.996 meters, what was the mean of the three measurements? Okay, so this means I'm asked to average. So I write out my measures. 4.017, 4.212, 3.996, my two steps are to add, so when I add them up, for time's sake, I'm not going to do the math here on the screen, we get 12.225. The second step is to divide, so we divide 12.225 by, I have three numbers that I added, so it's divided by three, which gives me 4.075. As my answer. So that's my average, that's my mean. Let's look at the second example. The mean weight of the three pigs was 320 pounds. The first pig weighed 220 pounds and the second pig weighed 240 pounds. What was the third pig, what did the third pig weigh? So we know that there's three pigs. Their total is 320. The first pig is 220. The second pig is 240. We don't know what the third pig weighs, but we know that their total is, or excuse me, we know that their average is 320. So I'm going to multiply 320 times three to find the total. 320 times three, equals 960. So their total weight is 960. These two together, 220 plus 240, 
is 460. So 960 minus 460 equals 500. So that means that this third pig was 500 pounds. Ooh, that's a big pig. Okay, let's look at the, um, your practice. We're gonna work on it together really quickly. So your practice reads, the height of the first three, pig, excuse me, three buildings was 420 feet. The height of the second, the height of the first of three buildings was 420 feet. The height of the second building was 380 feet. What was the height of the third building if the mean height of the buildings was 430 feet? So this is just like the last problem we did. We have our average of 430. There's three buildings. So to find the total of all three buildings together, we multiply 430 times three. That gives me 1,290. That's our total for all three buildings together. What was the first building? 420. What was the second building? 380. So we need to add these two together. You get 800. So the first two buildings are 800. All three buildings are 1,290. How do I find the missing building? Subtract. Zero minus zero is zero. Nine minus zero is nine. Borrow. Plus is zero. 12 minus eight is four. So 490 feet would be the height of your fourth building. Okay? Excuse me, your third building. All right. Did you guys understand that? How, <clears throat> excuse me, how did you do? If you have any questions, if you are struggling with anything, please let me know and I would be happy to help you, okay? If you feel like you understand it and are doing well, good for you, keep going, okay? Have a wonderful day, love you so much and I'll see you in the next lesson.